Knuckles on Ice Caps Mountain, recorded by Ella Lelia. I hastily created the title screen. The easiest way to get Knuckles on the mountain is to first walk over to the edge. Slowly approach the edge of the cliff and jump. If he jumps higher than usual, glide into the wall to the right and climb up it. It's a fairly long climb up, but you don't have to go all the way up. Bump. <laughs> I like this background. You'll now need to use the spin dash a lot. This first part is a little tricky though. This 1-1 one -one slope is pretty easy to climb. You'll need to be pretty skilled with the spin dash to get up this 1-2 slope. Did you know that this background has a vertical scaling of 128? Simply put, for every 128 pixels the screen scrolls vertically, the background slides one pixel in the opposite direction. From the bottom of the mountain to the very top, the background scrolls vertically 85 pixels. 85 times 128 gives you your total number of pixels, which happens to be a little over 10,000. Realistically, the horizontal and vertical scaling should match. Games from this era don't, likely due to hardware-related limitations. You can climb these two one slopes faster by doing what I did here. The horizontal scaling follows an interesting pattern. They have 32 divided by some number. From top to bottom, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, skips 6, and goes to 7. I don't yet know the scaling for the clouds. This is the last of the tough 1-2 slopes. The fastest scrolling speed in a single axis is 24 pixels per frame. The speed limit for the character is 128 pixels per frame, after which variable overflow occurs. Doing this will get you, at best, 38 pixels per frame. Those rapidly flashing clones, following Hyper Knuckles and Hyper Sonic, are actually the location where he was two and four frames ago. One of my favorite things to do while I'm in this area is just simply play with the background. By that, I mean getting really fast, especially on the vertical, where it's easiest. How do I know all this? Two answers. Debug, studying game mechanics. I'm mathematically oriented, so I see the mathematical relationship and things quite well. Since we're up at the top, want to know a little secret? You might be wondering what that white land is doing here. Well, every 2048 pixels of the vertical, the level repeats vertically and infinitely. In other words, there's no bottom. The top and right sides are flat, but the bottom left part is chopped out and zigzagged. There were actually a series of 32 by 32 blocks. Oops, I missed. Going down. Let's just try it again. This time we'll use a different method. Note the top part of the background blacking out. Yep, lots of black. That's 14 pixels worth of black there. Ah, about 29 pixels per frame. Now I'll show you a bug the simple collision detection system causes. Flinging down at 56 pixels per frame. About this length. If Knuckles buries himself in the ground the moment he hits an intersection, he can sometimes get lodged in the ground. This is an opportunity for massive horizontal speed. Though you get 32 pixels per frame in the opposite direction of travel, it's still slow compared to what you can get on the vertical. Sometimes you're free to go, other times you impact the wall, and thus you fall. Here's another secret. Look down, let go, and then quickly jump. 
I want to go to a better area for this, though. In case you're wondering, I want to show you another oddity with this background. I'll need to do this quite a few times. Note the blackening at the bottom, just like you saw in the top earlier. There's more though. Do this a few more times and... Dot dot dot. Just one more should do. Did you notice that the clouds stopped flowing? Notice that they're moving more slowly now too. They've become 32 scales instead of something slightly more than one. Let's go start them up again. Ignition key not required. What is required though, however, is just simply a little more height. Note that, at a certain point, the clouds just start up again. Stopping them is as simple as going back below that point. Don't you wish you can control clouds like that? Now for another secret. Note that, what was white at the top, is now blackened out. And no, the rest of the top of the background is not all black, and I'll show you too. See the white up at the top? Told ya. And nope, it's not all black at the bottom either. And this is my favorite part. Yep, the background's going nuts. Mum, 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 Did you catch the color of the bottom part of the background? It's blue. And no, it's not water. It's the sky. If it was water, I'd be putting the fox in it. Blood, 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 blood. Note that the mountains in the background are appearing again. Like the level, backgrounds also repeat. Now, let's head back up again. Given the previous episode of the clouds, where they got replaced with black, you'd expect everything to be black, right? Yep, as expected. All black at the top. Or is it? Why don't you try finding out what happens when you get up even more than this? Yikes! The evil clock's about to get him. I wonder if that clock is poisonous or not. Ooh, that missed. Even if you do fall down here, you can still get back up, but it's very tricky. Thanks for watching.